5 Tips to Keep Your Sleeping Baby Safe In the US, there are about 3,500 cases of sudden unexpected infant deaths or SUID. These cases occur among babies less than 1 year old and have no immediate obvious case. The three commonly reported types of SUID are Sudden Infant Death Syndrome or SIDS, a known cause, accidental suffocation and strangulation in bed. In 2018, approximately 1,300 deaths caused by SIDS, about 1,300 deaths due to unknown causes, and about 800 deaths due to accidental suffocation and strangulation in bed. SIDS refers to the unexplained death of a child below the age of 1. It usually occurs during sleep. Here's what you can do to prevent SIDS and help your baby sleep safely. Number 1. Let your baby sleep on their back. Babies who sleep on their backs are less likely to die of SIDS than those who sleep on their stomachs or sides. Be sure to put your baby on a flat, firm surface like a crib mattress. It should be covered with a tightly fitted sheet. There should be no spaces between the crib frame and mattress, so choose one that feeds snugly in the crib. Number 2. Put them in their own crib or bassinet. Don't share a bed with your baby. Bed sharing is one of the common causes of death among newborns younger than 3 months. Keep your newborn's crib close to your bed at night. There are also situations that make bed sharing more dangerous if your newborn was born prematurely or with low birth weight. You consume alcohol. You or any person in the bed is a smoker. Number 3. Remove objects that could increase the risk of suffocation out of your baby's sleep area. These can include comforters, blankets, toys, quilts, or bumper pads. Consider using an infant sleep clothing like a wearable blanket if you think your baby is getting cold. Remove electrical wires or hanging window cords as this can cause suffocation. Number 4. Bring your baby to the bed to feed or comfort. Place your baby in their bassinet or crib if you are ready to go to sleep. If you think you might fall asleep, ensure that there are no pillows or items that could cover or overheat your baby. Move your baby into their own sleeping area once you wake up. Number 5. Consider giving a pacifier at nap time or bedtime. A pacifier reduces risk of SIDS even if it falls out from your baby's mouth when sleeping. If this happens, you don't have to put it back. Don't depend on home heart or breathing monitors to reduce the likelihood of SIDS. Consult your pediatrician if you have questions or concerns about these monitors or other health complications.